final eight. What do you know? There have been officially more people voted out than there are left in the game. So that's a, an accomplishment. Um, so let's get to our final eight immunity challenge. Today's challenge is called Liar's Dice. Here's how it works. Each person will roll three dice, which means collectively among the eight of you, there will be 24 dice. The first person to go will make a bid. For example, you might say, I bid five twos, which means you're claiming that among the eight of you, there are five twos somewhere among all 24 of your dice. The next person must increase the bid either in the number of dice or in the face value. So for example, if the first bid was five twos, you could bid six twos next, or you could bid five threes. Now you can increase your bid however much you want. You don't have to go by one, um, but it has to be more than the previous bid in some way. After each bid, there is an opportunity for anyone to challenge a bid. When a challenge occurs, everyone will reveal their dice and we determine if the bid was in fact true or not true. The loser of the challenge will lose a die and the winner of the challenge gets to start the bidding in the next round. If you lose all three of your dice, you are out of the game, and the last person standing will win immunity, guaranteeing themselves a spot in the final seven of this game. For immunity, Michael, let's get things started. All righty, uh, six threes. So I could say like six sixes, right? Yes, you could say that. Okay. And I have to say something now because no one else said anything. Correct. I'll say six sixes. Good luck, Michael. Okay, so now the only number that can be bid are sixes um, because Mike went straight to sixes. So you have to increase the number of sixes that you are bidding. So now uh, it will go to Victoria. Seven sixes. Uh, Will, you're muted. Eight, eight sixes. Nine sixes. Okay, so Jonathan, the bid is at nine sixes. So my options are going like 10 or above sixes. Yep. Or challenges. You, correct. And the all ones will count as sixes towards the, and if I challenge and I get it wrong, I lose a die? Correct. <laughs> okay. Wait, so basically you have to decide if you think that there are, yeah. um, what's that? Sorry, what number are we at? Not eight, nine? How many Connor sixes? said nine sixes. So you have to decide if you think that there are nine sixes among the eight of you or not. And if How you think- How long to decide this? What's the time frame? Uh, we'll say 30 seconds. Yeah, hold on, give me a second. Okay, sure, um, 10 sixes. Okay. So Kylie, it's to you. 11 sixes. I challenge that. All right, Michael challenges. So it will either be Kylie or Michael losing a die. If there are in fact 11 or more sixes, which again, any ones will count as a six, then Kylie will win the challenge and Michael will lose a die. If there are not 11 sixes, then Michael will win and Kylie will lose a die. Oh. There are 10 sixes. Damn. Okay. So Kylie- <laughs> Kylie uh, loses a die and um, 
Michael, you will get to start the bidding again. All right, Michael, start us off. Going to do the same thing, so six threes. Um, five fours. Five fours from McKenna. Uh, uh, six sixes. Quickly to the sixes from Michael. Seven sixes. Oh, my luck is better <laughs> with this challenge, so I'm going to challenge. Okay, Victoria is challenging the bid of seven sixes. There are eight sixes. There are eight sixes. So with that, Victoria is the first one eliminated from this challenge. She's lost all three of her dice. Uh, three fours. Okay, we have three fours from Will. Three fives. Three fives from Connor. Three sixes. Three sixes from Jonathan. Four sixes. I'll challenge that. Okay. McKenna challenges Kylie's bid of four sixes. Sorry, Kylie, there's only three of them. There is only three sixes, so Kylie uh, loses her last die and is out of the game. We are down to six. Three sixes. Going right away to the sixes. Mike? Um, four sixes. I'm going to challenge. Will challenges four sixes? There are four sixes. There are four sixes, which means Mike is correct and Will is eliminated. So we have Jonathan and McKenna with one die, Connor, Michael, and Mike with two. Connor, you can start us off. I will say that there are two sixes. Three sixes. McKenna trying to decide what to do. Current bid is three sixes. This is a horrible spot to be in. <laughs> um, well, I'll challenge that. Okay, McKenna challenges the bid of three sixes. Sorry, McKenna, there are five sixes. Okay, McKenna is out of the challenge. One, two. Okay, Jonathan bids one, two. Michael. One, six. Michael bids one, six. Oh, okay, I'll say two sixes. Challenge. Okay. Connor challenges Mike's bid of two sixes. There is two sixes. What? Say two threes. Okay, Mike bids two threes. It's to Jonathan. Right, okay, so I'm gonna challenge. Okay, Jonathan challenges Mike's bid of two threes. There are two threes. Okay. Mike wins the challenge and Jonathan is eliminated. So it comes down to this. Michael has one die. Mike has two dice. And Mike is going to start the bidding in this round. Two fours. Uh, I'll just challenge it. Why not? There are four, four or three fours. Yep. Wow. All three dice were fours, which means Mike wins immunity again. Congratulations. You have sealed a spot in the final seven.
I well, got thanks for bearing with us with uh, maybe a confusing challenge. Um, but Mike, you have one immunity. You are safe at the next vote. Uh, we have a couple days off from any tribal or challenge activities, and we will see you on Monday night for your next tribal council. Good night, everybody. Yeah, so when we were learning the rules for the game, I had no idea what was going on. Um, <clears throat> and Jonathan kept asking these questions, and I was just uh, listening to what the hosts were saying because I would have been asking the same exact questions. Um, and then once I kind of got the hang of it, I knew that my strategy was to start high enough where it wouldn't come back to me, um, but also don't start too high where someone would challenge me. And yeah, I won. And now I'm just telling everyone, like, I don't even know how to play that freaking game. I just got so lucky. I just kept saying four sixes and, you know, just, you know, so I think these people caught on that I'm not as dumb as I try to be. Um, but uh, I needed to win this immunity, so I'm happy I did. This is like a, thank God I won immunity moment because my alliance was going to turn on me sort of moment. So, um Again, don't take anything personally because, yeah, I may have to, like, try to get one or both of you out. Okay. OG Sapone is over. Give the people what they want. Um, but I've heard, like, literally, I wasn't, I was planning on just, like, turning off my phone, just being like, ah, whatever. But I've heard from, like, basically everyone else in the game and they're both like they're they're all kind of not all of them but most people are like leaning towards old Sircone and I'm safe and I just feel like at this at this time it's not like in my best interest to keep you guys safe because of what I've heard. Maybe they're lying to me, but I'm 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 ninety nine point nine percent sure that if uh, this vote after this vote if I didn't win immunity, you guys would probably target me. So Mike has always thought that he's had um, McKenna and Victoria. Um, he was building a relationship with Margaret, which is why we severed that. Um, I did put myself out there because there was this plan last round of the last hour to um, get Michael instead of that. Michael can't go. He's part of my own that I was going to break. Don't mind that. Um, he's part of my final three. So... We couldn't have that, but Mike has a connection obviously to Victoria and McKenna, which he's kind of severing. Um, again, I have Victoria and McKenna, Mike doesn't really. Um, he thinks he's working over me. He's been thinking that for a long time. He flat out came and said, you know, can, I, can we just work together? Um, listen, I trust Mike negative 100. I, I would never in my life, I mean, I know that person. I've played with those people before. I'm like, you're not going to do it better than me, Mike, so don't try. The fact that I'm gunning for Mike has gotten out of the bag. The cat is out of the bag. Mike knows that I'm uh, going for him, and he's going for me. The problem is he's not going to have the numbers to get rid of me. Um, yet, at least. He's not going to have them yet, but if we keep him in for too long. He's going to get the numbers uh, to get rid of me. So this is giving me a lot to think about. Do I want to go with Victoria, who wants to keep McKenna, and get out Will and Kylie, who ultimately do want to work with Mike? Or do I get rid of McKenna now, who apparently doesn't really want to work with Mike, but I don't really have a relationship with McKenna at all. I do have a relationship with Will and Kylie. I do think they know that I trust them. Or they think that I trust them because I don't trust them. Um, I don't know, but all I do know is that I am in the power position right now. Probably not, actually. Final eight. Um, so the last vote, I caused a little bit of chaos at the very last second <laughs> um, before the vote because Kylie will, Mike, I guess Kylie, Will, and Mike were trying to flip the vote on Michael. And I very much was telling them that was okay. But really, I wanted Margaret out the entire time because I knew if Margaret stayed, then they would have like a power for um, 
And she would be working with those three? We have Michael and Connor on the outs too. So it's like, if you, me, and Michael, we're half the tribe. Like, we shouldn't let people bully us. We're literally four votes. And if we have Connor, that's five. So yeah, because we'll let Will, so Will, and Ky- Will and Kylie and Mike, Will and Mike aren't going to run, the, aren't running this shit unless you, we let them run it. Um, if I if I'm being helpful, I think that me and Jonathan are in a good position because I think we're kind of part of various groups, such as a three with McKenna, and then we're kind of in a three with Michael, and then a five with McKenna, Michael, and Connor. So I think me and Jonathan are in a good position, and then I see Will and Kylie and Mike working together to potentially pull in people to take out smaller threats like me. Um, So I think we have to get out one of those three tonight um, to be in a better position. I think everyone preferences Will. We're just concerned someone's going to run and tell Will. Um, So just no one tell Will. Let's all vote Will. And I don't give a shit. And if it has to be Kylie, (laughs) I don't give a shit. Then it can be Kylie. But um, I think like, Will's the most dangerous person in the world. And if he's not willing to work with me or like contact me over the weekend or whatever, then sorry, like you're not including me in anything. Okay. Yeah. So if someone feels strongly otherwise, then like say it. And I, and I, I'm like with McKenna, like I don't really care at the end of the day. Was, um, was Will your preference as well, McKenna? Yeah. I just think he's more dangerous. I think he's more of a threat than Kylie. And I, I think, I think, I, I think if he makes it, it to the end of the game against Kylie, he would win over her, even though she she has a good social game. I like, think both of, both of them would beat any of us in the end. So. Mm-hmm. But I think Will is like even more like I think Will would probably win against even like Mike. Fortunately, Connor wanted to talk. So I went and talked to Connor and he was just like, yeah, that was great. Um, you know, it could be you, me, Kylie and, uh, Michael and we'll, and I want, I I think Mark, I think McKenna voted Jonathan. So I want McKenna gone. Okay, great. That was so quick. I was awesome. You know, great. So it's been McKenna. And then the next thing I know, um, I get a message from Kylie who said she talked to Michael and Michael said he had talked to McKenna and McKenna had pitched my name. So I just found that interesting. Um, I think, do I actually think McKenna pitched my name? I give it about a 50, 60% chance. Do I think Michael just said McKenna pitched my name so that he wasn't the other option? Yeah, I think so. I think Will, Kylie, and Mike will vote for me. And Connor's kind of that swing vote. Um, I know he kind of brought up my name before any of the plans were put in motion just because we don't have a strong relationship and probably voting out me would get the least amount of blood on Connor's hands. Um, But I feel like I sent people that have better relationships with Connor to talk him out of that. Legitimately, when Will kind of proposed the idea of like having a final five of me, him, Mike, McKenna, and Victoria, like I would have loved to go to the end with that five. But now that it's definitely all blown up, they are targeting Mike and Will. Mike especially wants to go after them. That's not gonna work. So I thought McKenna and I kind of were aligned pretty closely in terms of we had the same objectives. Um, so getting rid of her, that sucks because I do feel like she's very level-headed. She's someone that's easy to talk things through with. Um, so that part of it is hard, but then it also makes her a bigger threat too, because I do think she's pretty adaptable. Um, in terms of if we were to vote out Victoria, I don't have just a great relationship with Victoria. She's very, very quiet. Um, you know, she doesn't share a lot of thoughts. I'm the exact opposite, so I can kind of like bulldoze somebody like that, which isn't a good thing. You know, it probably doesn't make her super comfortable with me. It doesn't make me super comfortable with her. So, I mean, 
preference wise i would probably rather vote out victoria here's what this comes down to in my head this next vote like this vote tomorrow is about keeping you two safe right but after this vote like someone's going to win immunity and i'm not going to be safe it's going to be safe mike because i'm sure connor is going to be coming after me maybe even michael whoever's left on mckenna and victoria whatever they're going to be coming after me jonathan might come after me so like we kind of need to create something now that not only keeps you guys safe this round, but keeps me safe next round. Whether it's saying it has that to McKenna, be one person. yeah, whether that whether it's telling Michael that you know McKenna was after you last round, or the McKenna and Victoria were after you last round. McKenna goes home; he's still targeting Victoria. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. So tonight should be interesting. I think there's going to be a bunch of people blindsided. Because Mike, once again, has immunity, so we can't vote him out, like was the plan. Um, So it seems like we're going for Will instead, which works better for me than the other plan, which is pitch is like the Ruken 4 sticking together um, and getting on McKenna. Doesn't really make sense to me um, for my game, so I'm just like not going to do that. I've just been lying about it at this point for a while. Um, especially considering that there was a plan to get me out where the main three people in that were Mike, Kylie, and Will. Hard to be like, oh, I trust you knowing that information. Feel fine. Good, strong word. Feel fine. Like, yeah, like this round's definitely going to make it very clear the sand, like the line in the sand's wrong. Mm Mm-hmm. I'm okay with that. So I've established uh, an underlying Final Four agreement with the three people who I've wanted to sit uh, in the Final Four with since the merge, who are Victoria, Michael, and Jonathan. Uh, I kind of planted the seeds with Michael and Jonathan and and also Victoria about, you know, maybe this is a good idea. And I've uh, also come to the conclusion that, yes, this Final Four is a good idea. But I hope that they're going to stick true to it. I hope that they're going to realize that it is in their best interest because we're all going to get smoked in the, the jury by... The other four people remaining in the game and uh, we can work together as a foursome uh, this is the first foursome where I do feel like it is in my best interest to go to the end with them it's the first title alliance where I do feel like I want to stay true to them as much as possible I just hope that they realize the same conclusions that I have otherwise precautions will have to be taken and then yeah I guess for Connor I was kind of selling it as like um kind of like a four we could be like a four like you jonathan Mm -hmm. and him like yeah that's actually the four he pitched yeah he actually pitched me that four um earlier before we got before like uh sunday before we got on that group call um Mm -hmm. when me and him were talking just one-on-one he was like that's the four that i'd want like at the end so i think if he really wants to stick with this four then he should vote with us this time. yeah i think he will (laughs) because he I think he does believe that, like, he can't work with Will and Kylie for too long. The plan is that I tried to set in motion was that me, Victoria, and um, Michael, a threesome that I uh, collected in the um, the breakout rooms night where Parker was voted out. I asked them to be a part of a three while we were alive in a room together. And then Michael then created that three and me and Victoria talked about it. So it was perfect. And then, so we've kind of been planning together um, some stuff and now, um, yeah, we're all going to vote. Will. the short of it is we're all voting. Will. Um, tried to make it evident to everyone that it's in the best game. So hopefully Connor still votes will as well. Will has been doing a piss poor job of managing me you know, mentions like on Friday, he wants to talk to me this weekend. I follow up with it. And then he's like, let's talk an hour before. So that's not going to work. Forward, I still feel pretty good about the final three I made with Jonathan and Victoria. I think that'll be um, the best plan moving forward um, at this point, because I think I can beat them. I don't know if they know that, but I think I can beat them. Um, but also I also have trust with them, which helps 
It's not just like baseless. I would, if I'm honest with you, I would assume that you're close with Will, but that's an assumption. So I, I really don't know. I mean, yeah, I'm kind of close with Will, but after like apparently that like he was plotting to like leave me out of a vote, it's like where do we you know go from here and stuff like that. Will also like flat out and Kylie flat out denied any of this to me really? uh, uh, beforehand. And then it all came out and people started spilling the beans. Will still hasn't told me otherwise, but I know he wanted to speak to me this weekend. So maybe he's going to admit to it. I'm not quite sure. Um, but he was like, yeah, of course I'm voting on Margaret like the whole time. I think Jonathan's playing the best game right now, maybe because I'm able to see the game that he's playing. I I'm kind of jealous of the fact that he can be blunt with people and they don't think to vote him out instead. <laughs> For example, during the Margaret vote, um, he said he was threatening his relationship with people and they didn't decide to vote him out. So I think Jonathan's playing a good game. I think that, um, I feel like Michael's game has been improving a lot recently. So that's a game and then, McKenna, I think I would lose to her in the finals. Uh, I, I guess I, I would say I'm playing an okay game too. <laughs> Tonight is honestly the night I feel the most nervous for myself because there's not just a definite, the numbers are in our advantage like we have had every time before. Um, but if I can get through this vote, I think I'm in a really, really good position. You know, I have a hard time seeing I know Mike's not going to vote me out. I have a hard time seeing Will voting me out. And I have a hard time seeing Jonathan vote me out. So that's the majority with me. Like, I may not get who I want out each round, but I have a hard time seeing them having the majority to get the votes on me, at least for a while. And so, um, you know, I think there's a good chance that I can get into the final five or four and I'm not terrible at competition, so I have, you know, a little bit of confidence in myself, as long as it's not something physical, like, you know, having to use your ab muscles because I can't do that, that maybe I can, you know, win a competition or two and keep myself safe. But, like, I can see the end game. I just feel like the final eight is kind of, like, the biggest hurdle so far. I'm safe, but Kylie's not safe, and Will's name is also being pitched. So normally I would love it if it went to Rocks, especially if I'm involved. I would love to go to Rocks, but – um they are so afraid of it going to rocks that um they're trying to get a fifth to get mckenna out and yeah so i don't i don't, honestly this is this, at this point in the game i am so lost um as far as connections go i have no idea what people are doing i know people are lying to me um so yeah it's going to be an uphill battle i have no idea what's going to happen tonight i have no idea what's going to happen for the rest of this game and uh, yeah, I'm going to, if I make it to the end, I would be extremely surprised. So Mike talks a lot about how he's good at lying, but I would like to provide a few criticisms of his lying. So first of all, last time um, during his outburst, he said he's not going to vote for Jonathan again, which indicates something about the previous tribals. Then he kept saying, y'all got what you wanted, which implies that he was actually vote working with Margaret because the amount of pissiness <laughs> doesn't match what he was claiming. And the only thing he was honest about is how he doesn't want to work with me. So I'll believe that and vote him out. <laughs> so by our calculations, there's three advantages possibly in play. Um, there's been, which there could be extra things that I don't know anything about, which is awesome to think about. But um, we know for sure that there, was, at the very beginning of the game, there was the clue from the high rollers room, which I'm pretty sure Shay got. And so when he left the game, that went with him. Then there were the two 50-50 coins. They were both played, so they're out. The next thing that came was the clue about the bottles. And as far as I... I know, I do not know who has those. I don't know if anybody does. Um, I know a few people took a crack at them. Some people say they didn't get anything. Some people say they could eliminate it down to two or four bottles. So there's the possibility that there's two from that. And then there's one from the colored one, which I'm positive somebody got. 
just there has to be somebody that figured it out. So at most that I know of, there could be three in play, which is so terrifying at final eight that there's not been really any legitimate advantages played. I have no idea where they are. I feel like if somebody has them, it's probably Victoria, Connor, or Michael because they're smarter than the th everybody else. Um, you know, the three youngest ones. They have big brains, and so <laughs> if we're going to vote them out before final six, which is presumably where they're not valid anymore, then I, we'd have to blindside them. Well, I hope to win immunity, so I don't have to hear my name again. If I don't win, it needs to be Mike that wins, because I think everyone in this game besides Kylie and myself wants him out. So it's going to be tough to play defense for Mike uh, after this round. Uh, but you only need four for the next round. I think, I think I still have Connor. I think Kylie and I have Connor. So I'm just going to have to put a lot more faith in Connor in this next round if I'm around and, uh, we'll, we'll see what happens, but that's kind of the four that I'm starting to going to start to build with. Jonathan's just not giving me enough to, 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 just bring him into like a four person thing and he would never go in with Mike anyways. So it's going to come to that breaking point uh, in the next round. If Mike doesn't win immunity where I'm going to have to, I'm going to have to break trust with people. But, but if you may, there's 10 minutes before tribal mm -hmm. you're right, right at this very moment. If you're being honest with me and everyone else is being honest with me, you're going home. And I'm probably even, I'm probably even going to vote you because everyone else is right. Right. Sorry. Like, right. I don't want to vote you. No, that, it's fine. It's fine. Like, I, I'm not kidding you when I'm like, it's fine. And I don't, yeah. like, I, I don't want to, I don't want to be like that and play like that. But like, that is how I'm feeling. Yeah, no, I, I completely understand that. But like, what is a name I could throw? Michael? I would say, I would say if you made a group, Will, Kylie, me, Victoria, yourself and said, let's all vote Michael tonight. I think it would go through. That's all I'm saying. I think they just wanted you to, and if you're going home, then who cares? So what's, what's happening? I just, I didn't hear anything. Michael feels like a good name to pitch. My last ditch effort pitch would be Michael. If the five of us vote Michael, then if, then if he plays something, I go home anyway, either I go home this way or I go home anyway. Yeah. So, yeah, I think this is the best because the chance he has, the idol is low and then like worst case is kind of the same outcome. Yeah, Unless, worst case is he plays an idol and McKenna goes home. Mm -hmm. But yeah, that's kind of like the way the vote was going in the first. Anyway, place. yeah. Unless, unless any of you are working side by side with Michael. I'm not. <laughs> I'm not either. Well, I just don't uh, want to fucking go to rocks. <laughs> that's what I'm saying. Look, if anybody is working close to Michael, you better say it now because we're going to go to rocks if you're going to flip. Right. You know what I mean? So, like, like All right. Victoria, if, if you're buddy-buddy with Michael, that's cool. You don't have to vote Michael. You can vote McKenna, but then we'll all go to rocks. Same thing. Will, if you're cool with Michael, you don't want to vote him, just say yeah, it. Let's vote Michael. Let's vote Michael. Okay, then, fuck. Let's do it. Let's do it. I'm, I'm committing. That... McKenna, I'm in. McKenna, Victoria, every, so, like, <laughs> this is it. This is happening. What are we doing? Shaking? <laughs> are we putting our hands shaking. In, in team in. Victoria, Victoria, McKenna, Mike, you got. We're good. <laughs> yep. I'm going All right. Michael. All right. All right. See you in a All minute. Right. Well, hello, final eight. Welcome to Tribal Council. Let's uh, get right into it here. First of all, Mike, once again, I have to congratulate you on your immunity win. How does it feel to have immunity twice in a row? Yeah, I find it pretty poetic that the most honest player in the game won a game called Liar's Dice. Um, obviously, I'm joking. Um, but yeah, no, it was, it was great. Fun game. I barely knew how to play and I somehow won. So I'm happy to be safe again. Uh, these people are all nuts. and. Um, yeah, it's always good to be safe when you got a bunch of crazy people running around the island. Does having immunity affect how you go about strategizing for the round? Um, not really. I mean, I feel like if you're if you're safe and you're acting like you know 
a hot shot, it's kind of a bad move. It's a bad look. Um, so I'm just playing the game regularly. Just give everybody a chance to talk, you know, listen, say stuff when I want to say stuff and go from there. Fair enough. Jonathan, we saw your name come up at the last tribal council. Uh, how are you feeling coming into tonight's tribal council? Are you worried it will happen again? Listen, I'm not getting an under the radar edit. So, I mean, it comes up, it, it tells everyone that I'm here. And just a nice reminder that, uh, you know, I'm glad I'm on someone's mind. So, yeah, I'm, I'm expecting it to come up again. Now, McKenna, was there any sort of uh, aftermath from the last tribal council or was it a pretty smooth sailing after the last vote out of Margaret? Um, you could definitely say there's some, some waves. Um, I think everyone's playing this game the hardest in the last 45 minutes before tribal council and then everyone's kind of smoothing things over in the in the 48 hours afterwards um so i have no idea what to expect um and i and i think no one here knows what to expect kylie i have to state the obvious we have officially reached the point where there are four ruken and four serpone the numbers are even uh is there a fear of going to rocks tonight, a 4-4 vote? Um, yeah, that has definitely come up. Multiple people have voiced that they're concerned. Like it's you know a concern every round that if you know the votes don't go exactly how you expect them to, that there's that chance. But especially like it does seem like, and so there being big groups that there's a lot of like kind of couplings and the way the numbers could shake out, like that's that's a problem. And, you know, there's only eight people. There's not very many votes to maneuver around. So yeah, it's always a fear, but especially tonight, I think. Now, Connor, we are very quickly approaching the end of this game. Uh, it seems to always sneak up on you. How does this vote, How how is your strategy for this vote helping to set you up for uh, the later stages of this game. Um, my my vote tonight will 100% be impacted by the end of the game. Um, it's something that I've thought about uh, a lot. Will it be the main thing? I'm, I don't think so. The main part is getting to the end game, but also from there you'd like to boost your equity at winning the end game. So there's different factors, but it, it definitely plays a role for sure. Will, what is tonight's vote about for you? It's about voting the way you said you were going to um, and just trusting that your conversations with the people you've had conversations with are gonna go the way that they were conveyed to you. So it's really, it's really all about tonight's vote. Now, Victoria, in just the post-merge game, we have seen lots of different time frames that you have had to deal with. Uh, you've had 30 minutes to figure out a vote, you've had 24 hours, and now you've had 72 hours. Um, how has it been having 72 hours, three full days to figure out what the plan is? And does that extended time change how you have to strategize? Um, I don't personally prefer the 72 hours. I, I kind of like the 24 hours, but I didn't have a choice this time. But I think it usually comes down to the last few minutes and anyways. So might as well just have 30 minutes. <laughs> you guys are, are procrastinators like me, huh? Now, Michael, what is this game going to look like after tonight's Tribal Council? Um, well, it's gonna look, look like one less person is in it, so, and that's all that really matters, I guess. Uh, um, and hopefully it's, I am still in it, you know? Um, because based on who's gonna vote it out, I might be the next to go. Um, so, yeah, that's just how I'm seeing it. All right, does anybody have anything else I'd like to add to our conversation before we go to vote? 
Don't vote for me. All right. Anybody else? All right, with that, it is time to vote. Um, I'm voting for Michael literally as of five minutes ago. Um, Michael, I really wanted to vote you out last round. I hope it works this time. You're very smart and you're a great guy. I hope we can be friends after this, but I really hope your ass is going to the jury tonight. Um, he has now had my name in his mouth twice. So at this point, I just want him to go. So bye, Will. Hopefully this one worked. <laughs> so a lot changed in the last 30 seconds. We'll see how this goes, but this would be my preference for tonight. And it kind of came to me on a silver platter um, in the last 30 seconds. I'm sorry that we never had the same paths in this game, really. Um, and I think strategically for me right now, this is better for my game. Uh, in my mind, it was either you or McKenna. It was going to be McKenna, but and it just happened, so good game. Every time I move, try and move forward with the plan, somebody always has to go and shoot themselves in the foot. It's getting pretty annoying, actually. Um, your name is extremely easy for me to write, so I'm just gonna do the easy thing and spell out your name, which is also mine. Please don't play an idol. I'll go tally the votes. If anyone has an advantage or an idol and you would like to play it, now would be the time to do so. Okay, once the votes are read, the decision is final. Person voted out will be asked to leave the Zoom call immediately. I'll read the votes. First vote, Michael. Will. That's two votes, Michael. We're tied. Two votes, Michael. Two votes, Will. Michael. Tied again. Three votes, Michael. Three votes, Will. Two votes left. Will. Ninth person voted out of Survivor Monte Carlo and the fourth member of our jury, Will. Will, the tribe has spoken. Good game, everyone. I really enjoyed playing with all of you, and it was a it was a great experience that I didn't expect. And best of luck to all of you. Talk to you later. Well, well, well. It appears we are in the stage of the game where there is nowhere to hide. There are seven of you left, and we will see you all tomorrow night for your next immunity challenge. Good night, everyone. Good night. I really enjoyed playing this game. I was not expecting to, to spend as much time as I did in it. I can speak for my fiance when she's, when I say she's gonna be the happiest one, uh, more so than any of the, you know, five people that voted me out tonight uh, to be out of this game. Uh, I got got, you know, I didn't see it coming. Uh, you know, I knew my name was out there today, but you know, I got to say I'm impressed. Connor, uh, obviously, obviously when I went against me with Michael and, uh, you know, McKinnon, Victoria, good, good game. Uh, you know, if, if Mike and Kylie don't win, uh, Mike or, or Kylie, if both of them could win, that would be amazing. Um, you know, or even Connor, Connor, I'd still enjoy seeing him win. Uh, it was so much fun and I, I made, I, I definitely made friends outside of this game and 
I won't, I won't forget this. And thank you production for putting all this together, the hard hours that you spend editing and, you know, putting together all these videos. I can't wait to watch and best of luck to everyone in this game. And maybe we'll play again, who knows?